German cinema at the moment, I think, from my point of view, needs more crazy stuff. In wenigen Tagen kommt Roxy, der neue Film von Ditus Zinzarze, auf die große Kinoleinwand. Der mehrfach ausgezeichnete georgische Filmemacher hat sich neben einigen herausragenden Filmen aus seinem Heimatland auch in Deutschland einen Namen mit besonderen Genrefilmen gemacht. Kurz vor Kinostart hatte ich Gelegenheit, Zinzarze zum Interview zu treffen, wo er nicht nur über seinen neuen Film gesprochen hat, sondern auch über die Unterschiede zwischen dem georgischen und deutschen Kino und warum deutsche Filmemacher seiner Meinung nach viel mehr wagen sollten. In my opinion, yeah, it was great. Nowadays cinema is interesting, but, but it's not so interesting as it was before. Because it, it's not so radical as it, as it was before. And it's politically correct. And this I don't like. Because political correctness is a shit. And it's, you know, politicians should be political correct, not, not the film directors or writers. Or artists, yeah. No, I, I, I should. I must be tough. I and uh, and the themes I'm talking about, they should be rough and sharp, and and straight. It's a different how I bring it. Of course, I want to bring it a subtle way, in a cinematic way. But I'm talking not about way. I'm talking about what we are talking about, and. Uh, the world, which is absolutely went crazy in the moment, and there is no human touch. I mean, you can very hardly find a human touch around. I mean, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but that's it's that's how it is at the moment, and it's very rare, rare, many many human things. So, in this case, artists or directors or writers should be really straightly talking about problems, brutal problems. But uh, uh, in my case, in, in our case, in, in Soviet Union, when you were growing, it, it was so much lie around you. So they, you, have to find, you had to find a way how to make jokes about this all. So, and this sharp humor of, uh, uh, from so, uh, Soviet time, of course, it stays with us. The sharp, because There's nobody was believing in anything. Everybody was knowing that it's lie from top till bottom. So, and you know, it's a completely different approach to the subject, you know. And even in our case, we were even cynical in some ways, you know. Not only ironic, but even sometimes we were so unhappy with things that we would be, we were sometimes even cynical, which is Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that, but it was only reaction which we could tell. So I don't know if I gave you right answer, but uh, German cinema at the moment, I think from my point of view, needs more crazy stuff. Genre movies more, more like, you know, and, and, and yeah, this is my problem with German cinema. Even they are very interesting uh, authors uh, nowadays, uh, but, but they are not many. There is Christian Petzold, Fatih Akin, yes, they are guys. Of course, they are very interesting guys. Philip Groning and uh, uh, some others uh, uh, who made uh, Victoria also a great guy. And uh, there are several nice movies, but I'm talking about, you know, variety. That's what I'm talking about. Mein Name ist Thomas Brenner. Mein Leben war eine einzige Dauerschleife. Bis ich auf diese Fahrgäste stieß. Das ist der Roxy. Er ist ein Champion im Unterkampf. Er hat über 14 Runde getötet. 
In Detus Zinsatzes neuem Film Roxy geht es um Thomas Brenner, einen eigentlich gewöhnlichen und typisch deutschen Taxifahrer mit einer Leidenschaft für Matchbox-Autos und Würfelspiele. Doch als eines Tages eine russische Gang mit ihrem Kampfhund Roxy in sein Taxi steigt, verändert sich sein Leben für immer. Plötzlich wird Thomas unerwartet ihr wichtigster Verbündeter in rechtlichen Grauzonen. Was anfangs nur um Geld geht, nimmt eine überraschende Wendung, als er die attraktive Frau Lisa, die Ehefrau vom Anführer der russischen Gang und ihren kleinen Sohn Wova vom Bahnhof abholt. Ein spannender wie unterhaltsamer Thriller beginnt, der das Publikum auch überraschen wird, wie Sensatze erzählte. Audience can expect surprises, of course some unexpected uh, unexpected surprises and uh, uh, at the end probably the biggest surprise uh, uh, how film ends when uh, uh, thomas makes his last choice because all the time he's making choices in the movie he's all the time it's up to him he all at any moment he can change his fate But he, he too, he's he's making he's the one who is made he's making choice, and he is choosing that what he's actually choosing. You cannot say that somebody forcing is forcing him. No, it's very polite. Ah, well, they are asking him very politely. Nobody pushes him, but he's doing. So it's his choice. He's always making his own choice. So that, that's at the, at the end for me, it's probably for, for the viewers, that would be surprising, surprising ending. Because he's telling no to something which we as an audience think that he wants to have it. But at the end, he's just throwing it also away. Du machst bei allem mit und du sagst nie nein. Ich würde dir ganz gut Geld dafür bezahlen. Also, wir sind von einem staatlichen Ministerium eines Landes. So, meine Frau kommt heute Abend, auch mein Sohn. Yes. Tiger. <laughs> okay. In our movie, Tiger, because uh, if you put, uh, um, if you just look at the movie, so there are very strong uh, uh, directions. One, one to Thomas and one to uh, Levan. Anfangs ist Thomas Brenner ein unbedeutsamer Taxifahrer. Doch im Verlauf des Films macht er eine äußerst besondere Charakterentwicklung durch, die Sensate selbst als Metamorphose beschrieb. Yes, I mean, it's a good word, Metamorphose, because my favorite writer is Franz Kafka, and he's a master of Metamorphoses. And uh, uh, I uh, uh, always uh, uh, felt that even he is considered as a most dark author, author he is a full of sense of humor. He has a very special sense of humor, but you have to have that antenna just to catch it, you know? So, coming back to film. Yes, it's metamorphosis of the main character, and I love always to talk about this uh, because that's very fascinating for me, how, how human being... Uh, if you put human being in a certain circumstances, in a certain world or 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 uh, yeah field or whatever, yeah, and then to look at him and how how it reacts, uh, how is the contraction of the character, and it's always fascinated for me how people are changing according to how, what kind of life they are living. You know, and uh, what they are going through, that of course makes a mark on them. And sometimes it's 
less visible, sometimes more visible, but definitely there is very interesting process when, when you when you finding that that slow step by step development of this character from one to completely different, you know. And that's always fascinating me. Always just just it's yeah. Metamorphose, that's a great, great word. Verkörpert wird Thomas Brenner durch David Streso. Wie die Zusammenarbeit mit ihm war und warum Ditos Zensatze deutsche Schauspieler für besonders umgänglich empfindet, hat er ebenfalls erklärt. That's a funny question and fun, it's a funny question. I tell you why. Because I my my Deutsch is very weak and his English is even worse. So and our Uh, our relation and our interaction uh, uh, on the set uh, was very, very funny. But same time, it was gorgeous because because we were understanding each other from one glance, one look, one gesture. I mean, there was no no problem at all. I mean, it was like he's such a such a nice person. And so easy going, that is, and, and 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 always bringing this positive energy, you know, on the uh, on the set, which is so so much important. When when he was coming to the set, I mean, everyone was starting smiling, and it was complete. And he was open for everything. I mean, any change because we were changing a lot. And I love this improvisations. He's a gross master of improvisation. He, he's following you. He's suggesting lots of things. So it was amazing working with him. Actually, I, I I'm quite a lucky guy because I worked with a great great German actors like German speaking actors like Urkart Klausner or uh, Christoph Waltz or uh, uh, Michel Matichevich, Fabian Rennes. Heinrichs, Nadezhda Brenegge. So I have really, really great, great uh, experience with with great uh, actors. And one is common. One thing is common with to, uh, in, in working with them, that all of them are very easy. Am 25. Januar 2024 ist es soweit und Roxy kommt auf die große Kinoleinwand. Warum also sollte man den Film auf gar keinen Fall verpassen? First of all, Roxy is talking about something which we all know, which we all know, and at least we can see it around us. Everywhere, it's a universal story of this. Because this character is universal, you know. It's, it's, it's not only German or Georgian or British or French, no. This guy is a conformist and uh, uh, opportunist and guys who who just trying to survive and uh, they can do everything just to survive and to get that piece of happiness they they're missing and they're ready to step everywhere in every 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 uh, uh, and, and they can do everything to get it yeah. And uh, I think the message, I, I don't like to talk about messages, but in your case, I will try. It's a, probably the message would be that um, that's loyalty and being correct, try not to see things which is obvious, and to choose your point of view, which is, you know, which is, which is making, shutting lots of things around and you don't want to see things. Uh, it's a immoral. Immorality of being correct and loyal. Because you cannot be loyal and Uh, uh, correct to anybody and uh, to, and to everything because it's 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 a, it's wrong because yeah you know what I mean because it's 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 really hard and you cannot as a taxi driver yes you should drive everybody 
to the destination they want to. But we are not taxi drivers, you know, in our lives. We we have our brain, we have our perception, and we we want to have our life fair, at least in some ways, you know. And you, know, it's difficult always to talk about movie, movie, what you want to wanted to say with the movie. But probably, if you put in a short form, it's a Immorality of being correct and loyal to everything. Wäre ich bereit zu gehen. Plötzlich war alles möglich. Mhm.